Hello and welcome into the next verse. My name is George, and if this is your first time here, or you've been here before but haven't subscribed Please yet, do so, along with dropping your comments. I love the comments. I try to read almost all of them. Uh, and the thumbs ups, really appreciate those. Really helps uh, with the channel. Also, we're so close to 4,000 subscribers. So close, we're 3,900 something. I can't remember the exact number, but we're less than 100 away. So it'd be great if you could join us on this journey in the next verse. All right, today we're gonna talk about Quentin Grimes. That's right. Quentin Grimes, the New York Knicks 25th round, first round pick in the 2021 draft that I, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I was incredibly high on Quentin. I had him on in my early draft preview videos. I was hoping that if we kept the 19th and 21st pick that we would draft, that we'd, we'd select him. Well, it ended up being where they were, they were able to trade down and grab him with the 25th pick. So once again, I think the Knicks got a steal in the late first round like they did the season before with Emmanuel Quickly. However, that, there might be a chance that Quinton Grimes actually is a better three-point shooter than Quickly. In college, Quinton was a win shares beast. He was one of the few, I think only... I think only, only Mobley and he were in the top 10 in defensive win shares and offensive win shares. Just shows you the kind of player. And he took the Houston uh, Cougars to the Final Four after, on his third season as a college player. After starting out, he was a blue chip prospect. And he went to Kansas, didn't work out because he didn't quite have the handle that is required to be a point guard. So he's really more of a secondary or tertiary ball handler. And we're going to dive into all this. In fact, I'm going to show you something here, though. Look at this. This is Quinton Grimes, his defense. We talk about this. I'm going to show you some highlights. But look at the numbers here. This is from Cleaning the Glass. And if uh, you're not familiar with this, the higher the, num the higher the ranking number, which are the numbers in the boxes, the better you are. That means you're in the 100, 99 percentile. Is 100 percentile is the best. Zero is the worst. Now, so 50 is the average. And now that is compared to, well, this is now compared to, these are defensive numbers for the team when he's on the court. When he's on the court, the Knicks are a 94 ranked percentile ranking team in terms of points allowed. Only 103.5 points allowed. And look at the uh, field goal percentage, 49%. Actually, that is E field goal percentage, just so you know. That's E field goal percentage, 49%. And that's the 15.3%. That is turnover percentage, 76 percentile. That, or, those are outstanding numbers. But look when he's off the court. The Knicks become 100, they, they allow 111.2 points per game, which is a 45. So it's kind of like almost in the middle. But look at the E field goal percentage. Goes up to 52.2%. With a 58 ranking, so it drops from a 94 to a 58 without Quinton on the court. But look at the turnover percentage; <laughs> it drops to a 26 percentile, only 13 percent, and that's his steals. The guy gets a lot of steals. He's, I mean, he gets into the grill of the offensive player. He's excellent at doubling players. He's excellent with uh, man to man. He's really becoming. I mean, he's becoming something special on the defensive end. But that's not the whole story nowhere near it his three-point shot like i said before it might even be better than quickly's it's outstanding and he replicates it every single time the exact same way fabulous and here just to show you this was the espn top eight uh high school uh prep players this year that RJ and Zion were coming out with Cam. Look at that. The Knicks have two of the top three right now on, on the team. And technically, they have three of the top eight prospects of that year. So we're loaded. We're loaded right now with top quality youth on this squad. Now, the question is, is it time for Quinton Grimes to start getting more time on the court? Right now, he's averaging... Well, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Let's get to these highlights here. This was the Milwaukee game when he broke the Knicks rookie record for hitting most threes made. He hit 7 of 13. 
that night, 53.8%. I said he broke the record. Look how look look how high he elevates. And he replicates that shot every single time. Look at this one. He even drives, does a nice little bounce pass to Mitch. So the guy shares the ball. Let's see what he does here in this one here. Because these are all Quinton highlights. Look, look at him. Look at what he fights through screens. Look at that. Look at that. He just picked the guy. Gets in there, lays it up. Now, the one thing is his handle isn't that fantastic, so he doesn't really drive often enough. Uh, he's only uh, had seven, uh, he's only made seven layups, but he's only attempted nine, so he's hitting almost 78% of his layups. But his real, the real game for him is a three point shot. He's taken, he's attempted 111 three point shots. Now, watch this here. Let's go to the next. Uh... Oh, I miss Derek Rose. Look at that nice little layup. Look, so he's got enough speed to get around defenders. I think the handle is what was, was kind of keeping him down a little bit. Maybe he can work on that in the offseason. Hopefully, look, RJ's improved his handle dramatically. Quickly's improved his handle dramatically. So it is definitely possible. Even Obi has as well in the offseason. Look at that one. Look at this. Ooh, that was beautiful. We were down by, I think, like 26 points. We came back to win this game, and a lot of it was because of Quinton Grimes. Gotta say, gotta say, love me some Quinton Grimes, man. He goes up nice and quiet, straight up. Look at that. No noise in his stroke. But it's the last 12 games where he's really, really been coming on. In fact, let's go look at those stats right now. Here we go. Quinton Grimes is heating up right now. His first 18 games, which really only played in about 15 of those, any meaningful uh, floor time in that. In the, in the first 18 games, he was averaging 11 and a half minutes per game, 4.4 points, 1.2 rebounds, 0.7 assists per game. His field goal percentage overall was 36.5%. His three-point percentage was 37.5%. True shooting was 53.4%. And his Offensive rating per 100 possessions was a 95. It was low. It wasn't there. It wasn't what you needed to be. But his defensive rating was 110. You know, right around the average. Right around the average. With the average is 110. Now, if you look at the last 12 games, interestingly, his defensive rating ticked up one point to 111. But it's still around the average. But look what his offensive rating has done. It's taken a jump to 122 in the last 12 games. Really, this is almost a 50-50 split, really, because if you consider, I know I have it listed there as 18 games, but it's really only about 15 games that this these stats are really counting for, accounting for. His true shooting went from 53.4% to 62.4%. His three-point shooting went from 37.5%, which is nice. That's a nice number. It's not fantastic, it's nice to a 44.7% in the last 12 games. And I want you guys to look at the arrow there. Quinton Grimes currently leads all rookies in the NBA with a 40.5% three-point shooting. That's right, better than Duarte, Kispert, all those cats that we thought were gonna be total marksmen, which they are. They're excellent three-point shooters. Now, this is, of course, the uh, the criteria here is minimum. Uh, they attempt at least 2.5 three-pointers a game, and they've played at least 20 games because there's some guys that only played three or four games, and, you know, the percentage is crazy. So he leads the rookies. He leads all rookies, 40.5%. So we got the best three-point shooting rookie from this most recent draft. Awesome. Now, look, now he's averaging 20 and a half minutes per game. Nice. Uh Points per game, it's got ticked up to 7.1 from 4.4. His rebounds are almost two per game. His assists are almost one and a half per game, as you saw, that he can facilitate. His overall field goal percentage went has climbed almost 10%, 10 points, from a 36.5 to a 46.2. Now I want you to look at in the box there, in, this, in the square area there, uh, the full season stats. This is from Cleaning the Glass. For, his, for all three-pointers, He's hitting 39%. Now, what they do is they scrub out, uh, they scrub out, uh, what is it? They scrub out the garbage time. Sorry, got a little brain fart there. So they scrub it. So that's why it's a little different than the 40.5%. 40.5% is every shot he's attempted. Cleaning the glass, they go in and they, uh, they clean the glass. They scrub it. Which, but if you look at that, that's good enough for a 73 ranking. But look at the corner three. 
59%. That's a 99 ranking. This is compared to all NBA players. This is not just rookies. This is all NBA players. Look at this E field goal percentage. It's at 56%, 75 ranking. Now it's all NBA uh, combos or wings. That's because that's his that's his category that he's in. So the dude has become a lights out three point shooter, especially from the corner, especially from the corner, which is usually where you find him because that's where that's how the Thibodeau's uh, Thibodeau offense is designed to be. Now let's go back and look at this here. Let's go look at this again. Look at that. Look at that defensive rating when he's on and when he's off. I have a, I think, I think that it's time for Quinton to even, even though he has been getting a bigger role, you can see he's averaging 20 minutes a game. With the inconsistencies that we're seeing from Alec Burks and from Evan Fournier and Evan Fournier's, uh, you know, he struggles defensively. Quinton gives you that whole package. Now, he doesn't drive as much as Evan does. He doesn't finish. He doesn't have a floater. Those are some of the weaknesses of his game. However, I think on those nights when Evan is just not having it, and I think we're seeing it already because we saw it in the fourth quarter. He played the entire fourth quarter against the uh, the Cavs recently. Uh, and so did IQ as well. So Thibs is beginning to, I mean, he's a permanent uh, uh, player in this rotation now because he earned it. He earned his way, but he had lost his way in college. You know, he went to Kansas, like I said before, he was a, a, a top recruit and he just couldn't make it there. And then he found himself with Houston and uh, the, uh, Kevin uh, uh, Sampson, Sampson, yeah, his, his, I think that's the coach's name. Uh, he helped uh, drill into him the repetition, repetition, repetition. And that's why his three point shot just started skyrocketing, taking off and defense. They re they preach defense at that college and look what he's turned himself into. And look, he could even I mean at some sometime he they thought he was going to be a lottery pick. He slipped all the way to 25th. So he he knows how he knows that nothing is guaranteed. He has to fight for it. And I love that about him. You can see it when he's out on the court, the way he fights for the possession, the way he fights against the offensive player, the way he fights against the defensive player. I love that. I love that moxie that he has. And he's got, he's, he's not, he's not, I wouldn't say he's cocky, but he's confident. And that is a quality that is that's special, especially in a rookie to think he's only, he's, I think he actually is the youngest player on the team. He's 21. Uh, he's a little bit younger than RJ. I think just a tiny bit. RJ, our guy, RJ, love him. Love our guy, RJ. Oh man. All right. Well, Look, do you guys think Grimes should get a bigger role in this on this team? Do you think that we should start moving towards the youth, especially right now that we're past the midway point in the season and we're struggling? We're trying to find an identity. Quinton might be someone that needs to. Well, first of all, he has been given more time and he should not lose it. I know we got Cam Reddish on this team now. But I think Cam's minutes are going to have to come from elsewhere. Like I suggested, Fournier and Burks. We got to steal. We got to steal at 25. Quinton Grimes, it's time. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Thank you guys for watching this. Again, please subscribe. 4,000 is waiting for us. The thumbs ups and drop your comments. And I will see you around the next verse.